Wow, would you look at this. And a very good day to all my viewers out there. It is right now Sunday, April 14th, 2019. It's exactly 3.02 p.m. And I am here in St. Anne de Bellevue, where indeed we do have water levels that are beginning to rise and some minor flooding that's beginning as well. And that's not all. We have a rainfall warning that's in effect for tonight. Uh, Montreal is supposed to get around 20, possibly 30 millimeters of rain. But Ottawa, just west of here, could get 50 millimeters. And this is ominously similar to what happened in 2017. If you remember 2017, we had the normal spring thaw. This here, I guess, could be considered a normal spring thaw. You know, the water is going to be high. Um, but what happened in 2017 is we had three major factors. We had a lot of ice on the river. You can see this ice here that's flowing. Uh, it's going into the east direction towards the Atlantic Ocean. And we had a lot of snow that winter. We had a lot of snow this winter as well, for those of you that live in Montreal and are familiar with that. And we're, uh, we had a lot of rainfall in 2017. If you remember, every week we had a, a rainfall warning. Every few days there was 20 millimeters, 50 millimeters, 25 millimeters. And uh, this is how it all started in 2017. We had a normal spring thaw in mid to late April. And then the rainfall warning started to come and the water levels just kept rising and rising. And it's guaranteed. I mean, if we do get that amount of rain, which is supposed to start uh, in an hour or two overnight, it's going to continue into tomorrow morning. If we do get that amount of rain, especially Ottawa, you are guaranteed to see when we come back here tomorrow or Tuesday, this water is probably going to be much higher than it is now. Um, I don't want to predict how high it's going to be, but... For sure, the fact that we're going to be getting that much rain, that translates into uh, rising water levels. And it is beautiful. Look at this ice flowing by here, these ice flows. And it's important to understand that even if we don't get that much rain here in Montreal, it's what's happening upstream uh, where Ottawa is, uh, Gatineau, because that river system, the Ottawa River, is what feeds pretty much this river here, the St. Lawrence. Um, just west of here is basically Ontario. I'm, I'm actually quite close to the Ontario border. I don't think a lot of people, uh, you know, maybe my viewers who are in different parts of Canada might not realize that, but we're pretty close to the Ontario border uh, the more you go west. And um, like I said, that river system, if you just go west of here, you get to Cornwall, you get to Ottawa, and that all feeds this river here so all these pieces of ice that you see flowing here they could actually be coming from Ottawa for all we know but the point is you know when they issue a rainfall warning for uh, for Ottawa it's definitely going to affect us here in Montreal because all that water is flowing in the east direction so things are going to be very very volatile in the next couple of days and I've been looking at the long-term forecast and uh, apparently we're in for some more days of rain and this is all part of climate change this is all part of i guess you could say the new norm so what i'm going to do i'm definitely going to keep you all updated um my channel for the next couple of weeks to the next month uh, especially if the water levels rise even more and we get flood flood warnings and all that i definitely will be dedicating my channel to covering that just like i did in 2017 um, so we'll see what happens but for now this is just a normal spring thaw, but all that could change. This takes a couple of rainfall warnings and uh, a bit of heavy rain, and the water level will rise and rise fast. So uh, I'll keep you all updated, and again, thank you all for watching. More videos to come.